Thunder and we'll head off this direction and we'll let you know this is near a busy road. It's um, two houses from that busy road. And then next there's also a church on the other side of the street. There's a driveway and what Melissa's standing on you're not be able to see there is an extra driving um, a pad to park on. And this goes all the way back but there's no garage. tree in it. Oh, that's where the refrigerator goes. And it goes into another sunroom. It looks like this does actually have some venting into it, so that's helpful. I'm sorry, there's a fire detector that needs a battery in the background. This does have a tile floor in here. It is a drop ceiling. So that would be a really nice upgrade one day to take out the drop and stick in a permanent ceiling. The back has a small but pretty quaint, cute little yard. It's all fenced all the way around. There's kind of a mixture of patios between cement, wood, and brick. You can kind of see that the driveway comes all the way back. It'd be nice. If you could talk your neighbor into allowing you to, I don't know if it's easement, I'll have to look again. Maybe adding a little garage to the back. That'd be a nice addition as well. Let's take a look downstairs. Now the basement is blocked, so as to be expected, there's cracks in it, nothing to do with anywhere else around here. And I would say because of this type of basement, it's not as finishable, um, but you could certainly do some work down here. You um, wouldn't be able to put up walls necessarily or that easy, or you probably wouldn't want to, but you could put some semi-permanent things up here. There's missing a window panel in one of them, so that really needs to be done fairly soon to cover that up. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much just a basic basement. It does have your washer and dryer down here as well. And what's nice is they did have a cement. Um, it is on a pad, so that way in case you did have leakage at least, um, that will help save your washer and dryer. Let's head back upstairs. And this is the 
master bathroom. Needs a little mirror there, but it's actually in pretty decent shape. The water's not on, so I can't really test that part out, but it's got some tile work around the shower. There's actually some seating back in there. Um, let's see, I'm gonna take a look around that side there. It's actually really pretty cool. A little bit of extra space back in there. bathroom. It is pretty tight but very functional. It's a real um, bathtub which is nice. There is actually room for extra storage in here. And again we have newer windows in here. So that's always good. Now there is some tilting on this side of the house so we know that there is a little bit of foundation movement that's being stuck in the block. This is a little bit smaller room. Um, a little bit more tough to have with your kids in here, but you know what? It can be done. And there's a little closet in there. We're back in the kids' room. So on this wall, we have the newer window, and on these two walls, on this wall, we have two windows that are the older windows. wall. Looks like someone tried to access some plumbing or wiring. And can't exactly stand up in here. There's a little bit of space up here. Might be a cute playroom for the kids or an additional living space. It might also be possible to finish off a little bit of area up here. So overall, I can see some potential in this house. It's going to take some work. We'll probably need to really do a sewer line inspection. We also need to add in an additional structural engineer. Probably need to get some of those things done. So let me know what you think. Thanks.